June 9th, 1987. One of the days that will truly go down as a day in the history of professional wrestling. On this day, a man like no other stepped inside the hallowed halls of the Nippon Budokan and into an All Japan Pro Wrestling ring. Muhammad Malik Khan, better known as Raja Lion. 7 feet 2 inches tall and 286 pounds, a truly awesome sight to behold, making his professional debut against one of the most beloved wrestlers there has ever been, Giant Baba. Apparently this man had won hundreds of kickboxing and karate tournaments back in his native Pakistan, indeed he had never once been defeated. Could the legendary Baba, the man with the heart and soul of a true champion, overcome this formidable foe like no other? Well, yes he could. We can perhaps stop with the mock grandiosity now, for Giant Baba vs Waja Lion is, of course, known not just as the very worst match to ever occur in an All Japan win, but one of the worst matches ever, full stop. It's a classic pro wrestling meme, and it basically has been ever since one of the very best in the business, Matthew of Botchamania, dredged this titanic battle up from the depths to feature it in one of his fits, much to the shock and hilarity of everyone who watched. But, well, just what is the story behind the match? I thought I'd do a little vid about it, because it is most certainly amusing in the end. It is indeed an All Japan match like no other, for various reasons, and having a proper look at it begs the question if this actual bout was supposed to be any good at all. With all the evidence laid out, it's actually probably accurate to say that it wasn't. It is quite amusing to me that, in the modern internet age, and at least in the West, this may be one of Giant Baba's most famous, or infamous, matches. Something that might even be called as evidence to suggest that the man was himself a terrible wrestler. But this match can't quite be pigeonholed so easily. So let's have a little dive into this one. This isn't going to be a long old documentary like some of the other videos on this channel, but it should be a good laugh. The first question, of course, is who exactly Raja Lion even was. Some say that Bubba spotted him in a restaurant somewhere, thought he looked good and decided to bring him in. However, this was probably just a joke. From all that I could find, it appears as though Raja Lion was an actor in his native Pakistan, although it's hard to find too much info on films that he starred in. He does have a single credit on IMDb for the 1989 film Blood Fight, starring Bolo Yun. There's also a clip of him going around where he's on that high watermark of quality entertainment, a Japanese variety TV show, where essentially everyone coos about how tall he is. In any case, in storyline, Raja Lion gets brought into the world of All Japan by Tiger Jeet Sin, one of the top foreign heels, as a part of his own long running feud with Baba. Truly, this 7 foot 2 inch monster from Lahore is someone who Baba can't possibly hope to beat. From what I can tell, Raja Lion first appears on the May 2nd episode of All Japan's TV show, on a show that was taped the previous day at Koraken Hall. He comes in, all tall and everything, and has a little sparring exhibition against someone with long hair and big sideburns who, unfortunately, I do not know. The almighty Lion shrugs off this ordinary man's feeble attempts at kicking, while he's able to take him down with just the slightest of touches. Indeed, sometimes just the very force of the wind from Roger's strikes is enough to send this man reeling. This showcase doesn't last too long, and afterwards Roger Lion gets on the mic to shout, Baba, come on, and do some dance moves. As the crowd chants Baba's name, we do see him in the back. He's stoically preparing for a bout where he'll be teaming with the debuting John Tenter against another age-old rival, Russia Kimura, and Goro Surumi. However, Baba has clearly heard the challenge that has been put to him. As Raja sparred with his completely inferior opponent, the audience at the Koeken Hall were so shocked as to be laughing at the sheer power of his strikes, such was their swiftness and ferocity. But in any case, and despite the clearly high risks to his soul, mind and body, Baba accepted the challenge. He and Raja Lion would meet at the Nippon Budokan on June the 9th in a special match consisting of 10 3 minute rounds that was actually dubbed as a super fight. Yes, a super fight. There does actually exist a hype package for the match, available on the June the 6th episode of All Japan TV. 
Here I am, as is often the case, very thankful to Roy Lucier's absolutely essential All Japan channel here on YouTube, for he has chronicled and uploaded hundreds of episodes of Classic All Japan TV. Unfortunately the copy of the tape gets a bit screwy here, but we do see Raja Lion practicing those venomous kicks on a sparring dummy, presumably with an approving Tiger Jeet Sin nodding in the background while burning hearts by Survivor plays. The hype is most certainly real. And with that, well, we get to the match itself. Let's break it down. Raja Lion, accompanied by the indelibly funky sounds of Soweto by Jeffrey Osborne, has to duck slightly to enter the arena, receiving the usual flowers and what have you, before the almighty Baba makes his entrance to, of course, Soul of a Champion. We have the introductions, and the super fight begins. Rajo immediately goes in with his lethal kicks and… yes it does take him about 10 seconds or so to fall flat on his ass, which he will do another couple of times during the first round. The first stanza is all about Raja's neat feet. They try to assault Baba in as many as two different ways, with complex left and right combos that… yes often just tend to pass through the air above Baba's head, although he will sometimes ferry things with a couple of chops. It doesn't take too long for the great champion to recognise the pattern, and even in this first round Bubba's able to grab an arm lock only for the lion to be saved by the ropes, and is also able to grab a leg and take Raja down. Raja's in a troubled position at the end of the first round with Bubba continuing to try for that arm, but the bell saves him. As Lord Humongous watches on, the participants kick off the second round. Raja tries to make more of an impression with those big legs, of course for that is his sole attack. It almost seems like he has Baba on the ropes at a couple of points. However, in an incredible Muhammad Ali-esque move at around a minute in, Baba bounces off those ropes, grabs that arm, controls the back, and takes Raja down. There is no escape as Baba methodically, slowly cinches in an armbar, and eventually, with the ropes nowhere in sight, Raja Lion is forced to give best to his legendary opponent. As soon as the match is over, an enraged Tiger Jeet Sin rushes Lurin to assault Baba with the pommel of his sword, also giving poor Raja a couple of whacks. However, Lurin is soon cleared, and Baba is even sporting enough to raise Raja Lion's hand in recognition of his brave efforts. This particular titanic tussle is over. So yes, this match is terrible. Of course it is, it's perfectly awful in every way. Raja Lion has roundly been described as one of the most uncoordinated men to ever enter a wrestling ring, and he wouldn't do so again after this bout. Raja was one and done, at least as far as the records on sites like Cage Match go. The audience seemed to find the whole thing rather amusing really, enough to get some good cheering in during the bout and egg the wrestlers on. But still, this is Giant Bubba we're talking about, and if we're honest, an All Japan win would have cheered if he'd just gone in the ring and emptied his bowels. In the grand scheme of things, this was just another little chapter in the general rivalry between Bubba and Tiger Jeet Sin, who would wrestle each other for the umpteenth time the following week as a result of this bout in a match that was, unsurprisingly, not a work rate classic. Still, for the most part, Bubba wasn't about work rate classics at this time. This match comes a few years after Bubba decided to take a step back on the card to let younger guys like Jumbo Suruta and Genichiro Tenryu take over the main event, relegating himself to tag bouts that were often comedic in nature. Bubba had his own little world on the card, usually against rivals like Tiger Jeet Sin or Russia Kimura that he'd worked with for a long time, and this Raja Lion match, while it was actually the semi-main on the night, believe it or not, was a rather unique part of that. Bubba didn't put on anything like this bout again before or after. But why did he put it on at all? I think the whole nature of this bout, the silliness of it, the fact that it was billed as a super fight and what have you, is all meant to be something of a parody. This is Bubba's take on the sort of match that Antonio Inoki would put on all the time, with matches that were largely worked against martial artists, catch wrestlers, boxers and the like from around the world. 
I think Raja Line, specifically, with his amateurish kicks and general build, long legs and all, is meant to take the role of the monster man Everett Eddy, a legit American karate champion who faced Inoki in one of his more famous super fights a decade previously in a match that, well frankly, isn't too much better than this one. Much like Inoki's endless attempts to challenge Bubba himself to a legitimate wrestling match, Bubba didn't think a whole lot of Inoki doing all these super fights. Unsurprisingly really, seeing as Bubba was solely interested in promoting pro res and nothing else besides that. He often said of Inoki's challenges towards him that he was interested in pro wrestling, not street fighting. So yes, in a weird sort of way, Giant Baba vs Rajaline is, most probably, kind of meant to be really bad. Sort of like Baba proving a point. Does that actually make it in any way a good watch, or anything more than a part of the bickering between Puro's two most powerful men? Well no, of course not. It is still an utter dog of a bout that wouldn't have had any business being on a card stage in an abandoned love hotel, let alone the frickin' Budokan but it does add a bit more amusing interest to the whole debacle. Happily, it wasn't something that Bubba repeated. In the times before this match was introduced to whole new generations of wrestling smarks and IWC denizens by Matthew, this match was still somewhat infamous. Looking through archives of The Observer, I can find references to it from all the way back in 1988 when Big Man Meltz described a global wrestling match in Florida between a 63-year-old Ox Baker and the big heavyweight wrestler Hillbilly Jr. as even worse than Baba vs Raja Lion. I'd hoped to find this match and compare the two, for science, but sadly I couldn't track it down. It is also worth noting that All Japan themselves recognised the badness of the match in 1992 when they ran a historical special highlighting some of the best and worst bouts from the company's history. And yes, Baba vs Raja Line was featured on the show. And as for where Raja himself is now? Well, as of a few years ago, it appears that he was working as a security guard in Dubai. If the dates that are down for him are correct, he would be 57 years old now. He was only 21 when the superest of all fights with Bubba took place. It should be noted that only a few months after this, he narrowly avoided tragedy. Tiger Jeet Sin booked Raja Line for a winter tour in South Africa. On November the 27th, he decided to take a flight later than the one he was scheduled for, and the flight that he was scheduled on, South African Airways Flight 295, would catch fire in the air and crash into the Indian Ocean. All 159 people aboard lost their lives, including All Japan wrestler Kazuhari Sonoda, Kenta Kabashi's co-trainer, as well as Sonoda's wife. Finally, well he was immortalised in another way, by the makers of the most legendary series of pro wrestling games. Raja Lion was included as an unlockable in two Fire Pro Wrestling titles, Final Fire Pro on the Game Boy Advance and the Wonderswan edition. This here is an accurate recreation of Fire Pro's Raja line running in Fire Pro Wrestling World, naturally against Bubba. And as you might expect, he has virtually no moves and an overall total of 35 points, making him functionally useless. But at least you can recreate this tussle whenever you want. And with that I think we have just about exhausted everything on this classic pro wrestling meme. It may be one of the worst matches of all time, but there is certainly a little bit of intriguing story behind it. It is something you should probably watch at least once, just to say that, you know, you've done it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little look back at the bout, and until the next time, bye for now. <laughs>